I want to talk to you guys about the earth tube system I put in, and I want to talk to you about why I decided to have a direct vent to the outside air. A lot of people tell me that an earth tube would be more efficient if I would have a loop. It would take the inside air from the house, loop it through the ground, and then come back up into the house. And then you put weep holes in it for condensate, etc., etc., etc. But I don't like that idea, and there's a few reasons why. Reason number one, we have a tiny house. It has very dark siding. It gets very hot in the sunlight. You guys have seen that. Now, in the summer sun, we have a lot of shading where the house is not sitting in the sun, but it still can get hit with light throughout the day and heat up. Well, that hot air will actually slowly creep and wash in. I wanted something that was going to help put a positive pressure on the house and kind of push that heat out away from the house. That way you're not drawing in hot air with a vacuum system. Does that make sense? Reason number two. A loop system, you usually have to have little weep holes in the loop in order for condensate to drain out, which that'll work with condensate, but the problem is radon gas. You can actually build up radon gas in your building with an improperly looped ground tube system like that. See, radon will come up through the weep holes that you have there so it can actually weep the condensate out, and that ends up pumping radon directly into your house, which radon is inert gas, but it can kill you. It's pretty much, it's, it's everywhere. But it's heavier than air, so it should travel down a grade and fart out your input line. Now, reason number three, and this is the big one, mold. A lot of people don't want to use earth tubes because they're afraid of mold, which, which is a valid reason. Good, well-designed earth tube system will not mold. Mold needs a few things in order for it to propagate. A, it needs water, B, it needs temperature, and C, it needs food. A properly designed earth tube system is designed to actually drain the condensate out of the pipes and dry the air as it goes towards the house. The loop system, you're more prone to having some kind of food source or moisture constantly pumped back in and out and circulating. With fresh outside ambient temperature air, you're sucking in clean air and you're draining the condensate out. Should keep the system a lot healthier. But yes, it's very important that you keep track of any kind of mold or bacterial growth in your earth tube. You don't want that to start. They call that sick house syndrome when they have uh, dirty earth tubes. But I don't know how level you guys could see it, but it's not level. And we are sloped all the way down towards that ravine. So in theory, our, our earth tubes should stay nice and dry. They should stay nice and clean. And they should work for many, many years to come for our tiny house. That's why I didn't want to do a loop.